and now it's Anorak off for another 17 laps. In practice, Halewood's unofficially broken Redmond's lap record at over 90 miles an hour, faster than his own 500cc record, so he's hot favourite. And sure enough, with a superb start, Mike goes straight into the lead. But if it's all go for Halewood, it's no go for Cerner's Jawa. Two miles out, there's a slow hairpin left, and first there, it's Halewood with world champion Phil Reed's Yamaha. And then, Ivy and Redmond. So the battle's on, with three world champions in the first four places. Woodman's MZ fifth, and Malloy's Bultaco a brilliant sixth. Maestro Halewood's at his superlative best. Lapping at over 85 in the wet and pulling away from Phil Reed's top-heavy Yamaha 4. Not the best bike for Assen. Now Jim Redmond's got up to third, past Bill Ivey. And here is Bill passing teammate Motohashi's twin, obviously in trouble. And car racer Bob Anderson, seventh on his Yamaha. Lap eight, almost half distance, and Halewood laps Alberto Pagani's Air Mackie. Not surprising, for Mike's still averaging some 83 miles an hour, to lead Reed by 40 seconds and Redmond by 60. Ivy fourth, Woodman fifth, and Bob Anderson up to sixth in his first motorcycle race for years. Lap 11, and now Mike leads by 52 seconds, and laps poor Pagani's sick Air Mackie for the second time as Alberto tours in to retire. Reed's Yamaha still second and Redmond's Honda third. And it's going to be yet another victory for Mike Halewood, his sixth Dutch TT win covering three classes in five years. So let's study the master at work as he starts his last lap nearly a minute ahead of Phil Reed. So ends Mike Halewood's umpteenth winning ride to put him well on the way to the 1966 250 World Championship. Nobody in the history of road racing has been as successful as Mike the Bike. Ever cheerful, deservedly popular wherever he goes and a grand ambassador for motorcycle sport.